let's take a look at some other world news. And exit polls in the Netherlands show the far-right party of Geert Wilders has won the election. The Party for Freedom is projected to take 35 seats in the 150-member lower house of parliament. Wilders backs a referendum to decide if the Netherlands should leave the European Union. He also supports a ban on asylum seekers. Let's bring in Step Varsens. She's joining us live from Amsterdam. And exit polls showing a big win for Wilders' party, Step, which will have double the seats it secured just two years ago. Absolutely, and uh, the party is already ongoing here behind me, and that's where Kit Wilders uh, just held his uh, victory uh, speech. He basically surprised everyone with this big win. Only a few days ago, nobody would have predicted this, and only in the last polls uh, yesterday, it, saw, it showed that he was uh, leading those polls. A week ago, it was a completely different picture, and this is really a very strong vote of the Dutch uh, people against immigration uh, and against uh, asylum seekers. And it's also a very strong vote against the establishment, against the elite. The trust in politics has gone so low in the last 13 years of Prime Minister Mark Rutte. There were lots of scandals. Uh, and now people have really uh, gave this vote. And maybe it's a protest vote uh, for Geert Wilders. And, uh, uh, looking at these exit polls, he has a very big chance of uh, becoming the prime minister. And as you said, it was a very controversial figure uh, a, a long time. Uh, he has actually been uh, officially uh, convicted for uh, inciting discrimination when he was calling for all the Moroccan, the, the, the Dutch of Moroccan descent to leave the country. He calls for closing the borders. He wants to close uh, uh, Islamic schools and uh, mosques. So. Uh, there's a lot of questions, but yeah. people also were telling me today that voters say he has gone milder. Yeah. He has been trying to uh, be more uh, in the middle. Yes, interesting that after um, the results, you know, started to come out, he actually said, we're not going to talk about mosques, Qurans and Islamic schools. But given his incredibly controversial history, will other parties be willing to join, join him in a coalition? Well, that's the key question uh, tonight here in the Netherlands. Uh, and there are, of course, some parties, smaller parties, who will definitely join him. But the big question is, will uh, the party, the VVD, who has been uh, governing the country for the last 13 years, be willing to join him in a coalition? And there's also a new uh, party, a social contract party. Uh, would they be willing to join him in a coalition? I mean, the voters have spoken today, and it's going to be very difficult to ignore that. Step, thank you very much for that. That is Step Vassen uh, with the latest on the big change in Dutch politics. Joining us live from Amsterdam. Thank you, Step.